Hello, my friend. Getting in time for another little first impression on a new Henry Vlog thing. I have no idea if I'm going to get a lot of that show or barely anything. I hope it's about bearing anything. You know, a whole lot to really get into a Gary get called. But, but this is the new Ben 10 Gary, Ben 10 2017, as I'm calling it. It technically, technically officially aired last year in our country, but it did air all in the US. You know, so it's 2017. Okay. That is what it should be called, Ben 10, when you go Ben 10. Ben 10 has definitely been interesting theory, because it had the original theory, the roof action show, but then it got a sequel theory, then another theory, then another one, then another one, then four theory, then total of 200 at Bukog, and, and well, like a few coming out of action movies we don't like to talk about. And eventually, I'll be real quick, coach from the back, from a couple people back. Cut to our Quebec and Fortune to pull a plug and make the guy to plug it back in, but this time do a full reboot. Because they've been doing that lately. It's just weird, but from like T Power of Girl, there's an older hearing that a lot of people really like and pilot he returned and come back yet until I actually did. Um but quite can make Ken dreading a little hearing Benton. Omni Rook ended in twenty fourteen. The next hearing aired last year. It wasn't even like three years old. It wasn't even about three years old, which it probably was. Aired in 2012, it aired for 2012, 2014. It was 80 episodes away. I think it was the longest running, longest pension journey, but one that I had the shortest amount of run. I, I don't know. So, a lot of people find it, but anyway, fast from my history of security, I never watched it on original airing. I just watched a episode here and there, and now we get until last year, starting. At the end of last year, right? Got you to marathon the entire Ben 10 franchise. Not all at once. I'm not that crazy. I did one hearing, then I watched come out of show, then did Alien 4. And now I've seen all of Ben 10, Alien 4, Ultra Alien, and Omniverse. You can go to doing Dart if you want my full opinion on each one by thinking, in my opinion, that hearing is all good. I don't love it because it has some flaws that prevents from being a great show, or even a really, really good show. But I think for way that it goes a lot of the action hearing that. And stuff to it, and all the people are kind of all in that middle ground for me. I don't think any of them are bad if people say they are, because there are things they do, like they just come will tell more complex stories, and they'll get commissioning art, but at the same time, from swinging in terms of where to take a baffling a lot of the time, like just the concept that Kevin become a good guy was weird to me, and then him like when it, just, it, it came up kind of, there's a lot of really good stuff. But a lot of the time, it just fell in that middle of the road where, okay, this guy pet is good, but this guy pet not that good. Very good up and going for a bad up and going. Um, fuck all the people in the Which, okay, didn't have a bad one, I don't think, because it's nothing that bad. But then they're bad up and going. Not a huge amount, but these are a few. Bad up and going, and the other carrying, um, but. That thing. Each one has a pro and a con. But I think each one has a moment, but by the end of the day, I don't think any of them can be flat out considered good. But my at that moment. And the continuity got weird. It came go in French economy, they couldn't jump into the Omniverse because it's like you'd have to understand what they call back to original theory a few times. One character will go one episode and be like come back in later in Omniverse and call me an important character. Um yeah, stuff like that. <sighs> no. Wait. Sorry about that. My door got flung open by the cat and I had to close it. I don't like having the door open while I'm doing these. But anyway, Ben, that's probably why they kind of to do a reboot because it came to go to French continuity and came to catch a Mac when they figured it's not enough that we had to just end the screen then. It was a decent note to be fair. But uh, they kind of do it for you, probably to start fresh. Go kind of like the Spider Man effect where it hadn't been 10 for you get the first original movie, but they guys are going to make for man anyway. And, but thankfully, that turned out pretty well, and but when that it caught up in that then they have Homecoming. So, they do a review again. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully, Victory Boot won't turn out go bizarre that they do it again. It would bring Ben Timber to. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But in the Genshin Magic Reboot Bat, the original King created by Man of Action, which, um, complicated, but it's a group, um, people, and 
basically they created the community but didn't have a whole lot of control over it that time that time but they still created and created a lot of content then Kiko community we had nothing to do with they had bulky ever strong I don't know, um, doing a lot of it um, for the most part and they just have their name on it and that kind of it but this community the control going back to them so going back to people made the original community and not the direct of Kiko which for a lot of people actually should be a good thing considering original creators and come back for the other reboot content I've been doing, you know? You know, with this community, basically they're doing what they always do. They make it more highly comedic. I mean, original community had comedy and it goes on the earth, but this one is definitely a comedy community. Again, the art style changed to be more, you know, the kitty, you know, and uh, the lemon episode. Um, and today, they aired four episodes, lemon episodes, but I didn't have time to watch that many. Like, I just watched for two, the first half hour. So, maybe I'll watch the other two for a little time, but for the time being, I'm sticking to the cook. I feel like, I like the first movie of Beat Off, Shorter Chunk. I believe it's a point mom was the only one where it based off more than one, um, a segment. Um, but the other one I've done, um, there's Elena, now two episodes, okay. And there was uh, my magic work, which was one segment. Okay, go. The other point is two segments, I think that enough to give it for compression, maybe not enough to judge the whole community. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, kind of been kind of weird with people lately with what we've been doing, but I got good in my, uh, when I did a blog review on how to make head up a code. Don't worry, they've been through work, not complaining. Uh, <laughs> that's not great, but anyway. How do they feel about the first two episodes of the Kylie comedic reboot? Eh? I don't- I- I can't compare to that. But the early reaction went from, hey, good to, it got to, eh. Which we just read a power core reboot to a few Kylie. You're a ten of worst show ever! You know, but hopefully it's gonna go out because people don't care about the intent that much. That's what power core were you can take go. Yeah. But the two episodes were alright. You know, the thing- the first thing is the art style, that thing we're doing lately, where the main character being art style line, well, everything else looks kind of bland. And this one, definitely blander than that one, because the background characters look right out of We Are Bear, specifically. Yeah, I mean, other clips from the show that look big, gamey. The main character, Ben, Ben and Gwen, again, they've definitely been kid vibes, you know, you know, more go and. I don't know. The actual animation on the deep and the actual animation I think works. Um, the alien gets look pretty good, I think. But some of them, like four on key looks fine, but then you have Rogue One Calorie, yeah, he's gonna look kinda wonky. Um uh, Grey Matter look fine though. I don't know who's gonna for the Void Kang, I don't know who playing I I believe Ben Tempon, yeah, but I don't know anyone else. Uh, I well, I've heard John and Maju, I think is the villain in the first episode. That guy I can really know. Though so, I should have done my research, but oh well. Um, you know, um, go the first, um, the first time I could have more indicative of a quality. If thinking of the plot and that, then, um, thinking the well being now on story driven, it more about comedy and situation. Both are into both have a of fighting a villain, go. So, they have that against both Titanic and Power Girl, so about fighting villains. <laughs> so, I guess that's one thing I have about blah blah blah. And for that kind of band, they have to um, clean the rock bucket while Mac and Gwen are off blurring from Cave. And while he cleans the villain, comes along and deals the rock bucket to you for some plan, really convoluted, and I don't want to get into. <laughs> and, um, and for Kekin up the code, and Ben. Cannibaling into um, uh, Niagara Falls, which awakens the water water thing that does evil stuff. Yeah, nothing that complicated. <laughs> kind of get complicated, but you know, um, you know, the thing with Vic is highly comedic and kind of go. And uh, in front of a comedy go, get half and half. There's some park I found funny. I the guy got like a little clip they'll have occasionally, and again, it's not. Not, not anything, I don't even mean rap or anything like that. Go, anything like that. Um, oh, we come to, I was talking about a character that way. Ben, Gwen, Vic, if I, but I can believe him. Mac the one look weird. I don't know why. Maybe because you get a dull with him looking the way he does. I don't know, he's just weird. It's just weird because the character that's in a row, the other being hunger, 
but he that he looked weird too. And that he had young blood in the night. And all of a sudden, we're counting on Eva. You know, like I got used to him, but there's kind of a little bully to come to like the main the returning character. So I guess the one gets you that trend. Turning character will play even in the back book in the worst. Go. <laughs> I don't know, may I'll get into him, I don't know. He thinks he has eyes for the time. <laughs> so, he should go be fine though, it moved like it should go fine. Not clear about the art style, it's not ugly, it's a weird. Um, but as far as everything else you kind of have, it's character engagement, what you bet. You have been act what you bet, but at the same time, a lot of characters nowadays act like he uh, goes like, between the combat. He kind of regularly impossible, but the end he really gave us game today. But he's in line for a very long well little kid. Any little kid he could be kind of weird, you know. Yeah, not bad. He could be in some really incarnation, <laughs> but you again, compared to the original, because that was a good book to be a reboot of. It was really, really original. And Griff knowing they can get a proper pie in that they don't explain anything, they kind of jump into it. In fact, you just know he has the on truck already. He been, apparently he even referred to when he turned into a heat blast, he kind of got clacking. Yeah, hardy are hard, but they can only kind of up a code, go so it's like... And then kind of up a code, he already covered a new alien. No explanation time. I think the first thing he going second to him when he got the first new alien. Yeah, one that one in the Star Trek. Um, yeah, they got a code, you didn't that out. Kind of up code already. I don't care about production order. The other thing is, they went from the front comment into the gang comment with no commercial. It went one right to the other. We're not connected in any way. The first one, they're going to Dugger, and next one, they're Niagara Falls. You know, when it comes to a plot of that first one, it gets it, what you expect. But, you know, at the end, they have them doing the right thing. And they yeah, clean buck, we get that power. And they angle yeah, don't joke. But everything after that was going to fine. You know, it doesn't do anything. I don't know where I can go enjoying it, but I can call me kind of annoyed. Yeah, I get it, again, just whatever. But kind of go to go more interesting that try. The first one, he kind of got a story to it. They're trying. Well, it had more story to it. They're trying to do a moral, basically, where men off the regular thing without thinking you can get bent intuition and Gwen think he needs some sort of filter to figure out what good or bad idea. And more get weird. They try to do the like, in between thing where sometimes you, you hear your intuition, and other time you you filter. But it's weird. I feel like it, I feel like it could have done it better because it's like Gwen keeps like claiming that that by the end of it, her filter thing a bad idea, even though it's been intuition and what started from that to begin with. And they do try to have been like um at the end, Ben um. Ben not get handy for a long time, but they could have done that better. If they wanted to have a nice middle ground, they could have written that better. And it's a moral story, because it's not, and it's built into the story, so. But, again, I think I'll think average. We're gonna go running joke of the. They're gonna running joke of going to like try to poke a girl, but get interrupted, which is a good joke I've seen before, the kind of thing. I don't know why that joke appeared a lot, but whatever target funny, though. Um, um, and, um, Everything else about both the gap going into the average, you know. There are parts that are interesting, and there are parts that are like dull, and we've seen before. I feel like of the kind of show, the sort of 11 minute, primarily comedic, but hack a plot, and I just, I'm kind of getting kind of got a lot to it. I don't know, it's stuff I've seen before. I feel like they do something. I feel like they are trying to come to by having it. Feel more grounded in terms of a story. It's not, not like Titan Go where all the time it's just like random for a big ring and it's not. And it's a little more even than the Power of 115. It's against that. It's a little more balanced between the elements, I guess. But it just kind of. Meh. And from what I've heard about Robert Epicog, we kind of see that trend. And, and they get a little consistent with some characterization. But again, both Uncle Ben and Act like that game. Um, and Gwen act like a Gwen not a for don't tell Gwen back barely in it, by the way. That could I think that other uncle should have been like for that say I could get hang them for most of it. Um and that quick got weird, definitely got a placement, I can tell. Um can't remember her name of the guy, but he was really good. Max Pond I figured could I, I know he's like everyone fan but considering how we can get to everyone else even I feel like 
peed the most grounded. <laughs> no. No. He probably don't go. And Nick and Nick Mookie, but he doesn't get a whole lot to really do. And in voice go, I call you to have a little because they kept the throughout the entire franchise. So it's kind of weird to have a little bit going out. I mean, oh well, I can get used to that. Um, but yeah, both of you have were fine. You know, very, very, but at the same time, I didn't find myself that invested. I was like, at most, I was immune, but not much else. But it's not shooting that high, to be fair. It's just, I feel like the problem is that the show is against it all. I don't mind them trying to get them back to square one, but I feel like you should have waited a while to where. I mean, you're looking to get 10 years old now, but. I mean, in Alpha, because 2015 in Alpha, and they were just barely 10 years old, but I was looking at 2005, I think it was. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so. Their reaction got to go both ways, and I feel like it can continue being both ways. It really, the book won't, won't be a bunch of outrage over VR1 because it's like, who, not many people care about 10 nowadays, it's not enough to be outraged. It's going barely enough out again anyway. Um, but 205 is correct. I, I, you know, but I know people will probably be young enough. I know people young enough to be dodged for thing they can't have fun, Kevin. So, so. <laughs> I, and if I watch it, I probably will be tired for me. You know, I'm tired of thinking count 24. I'm tired of thinking count 25. Get this. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm 12, I think, for the officially aired. Kevin, go. I can't really talk. I'm fine. I'm tired for that one. Well, but, um, well, for the people, I predict to give you more for the game, though. Keep being a game of fine, but nothing too special. In that, if it doesn't online, you can watch them up a code and you'll be amused, but you'll forget about it afterward. It's not just great to maintain, because quite frankly, it doesn't go much. But I don't think they could really do anything worse than what they already had done. Kikirin, you know, it's not like any of Kikirin were horrible, but they're a specific epicode in the moment. You know, Gwen doesn't know the Kayak apparently went up a code of Ultimate Alien. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I again it's more epic than moment that baffle me or element an element in Bunky here again. The go far I can reach the Vogue level. If you like an in an attempt to try, they're playing it too safe. And um I think Power Cloak had that kind of problem occasionally. Um I get but again Doug play gave a few playing so much. I get the bomb. I don't know what, what can you do about ten. Like there's just nothing to really do. Go. You have a middle ground that will really plink on people and really pick off other. I can't keep getting offended, but unless they do have to go about a unicorn echo allegory for something I don't want to get into, but I doubt the show I'm gonna do that. I don't know. Again, early in the run. Go who know again. Other people will probably end up watching the other two episodes. Go. Why? Why? Well, with the show, I'll probably watch other episodes at some point. Maybe not now. Maybe at some point, I'll watch a few other episodes and see how it is. I'll like, go for it. I just curious to see if the other two episodes can do something like that for me too, or I keep on the, the, the level. But for the episodes, first one I prefer because it was more and even with all the elements. It will go in the back, we're barely in it. Between some of the action stuff and there's more to the second one, but the thing is, the story kind of meddled, so. Both of them could work fine. No, and again, that. They are watchable. They had, they have good funny moments, but good comedy here, but there's nothing that great. Go far, we can read it. Eh. My first impression, it okay, but probably continue being okay. Yeah. And go point on Demon Earl, I'll probably do first impression. For a show I didn't get around to talking about when AOG premiered, and I'll talk about. From what I can hear about show, I'll talk about just the action, Buck and the Beat, and Buck and the Beat, and Kyle checking me ball for hearing, I'll watch a few of them go, um, and see how that goes. It'll be on because they're too far to our run now for, me, for it to be really first impression go. I'll just do a draw on that, but yeah. Uh, so, how would it go? Vic continue for trend though, he's been considering being average, you know, but. The other were average by having it even make a thing I like and thing I don't like. This one is consistently eh. You know? 
you know, it's more even the other theory, but can't tell what interesting. But um, it's meant to be more clear the visual theory again, it definitely pale in comparison because it is. But I don't know what we're gonna call it that can't end up being decent, but I can't keep anything, can't see it being anything that special. There's just so many other options on right now, you know, because they have, they have Weaver Bear, for the time being, they have Claire, they have Steven Aver, and the Gumballs, you know, and, you know, it's just cool, and Carter Golden has many other options that the, if you never seen the original then, if you're, then Shankar, you'll probably enjoy it a little more, but at the same time, you've seen a lot of the uh, Claire. Kids, but I, I think it's fine for them. They'll probably enjoy it fine, but I don't know how much. I think we have thought perfectly fine, but I feel like you've got nothing that other shows aren't giving you, so that's my first impression based off the two episodes. They're called the filth and water watch water filter. If I should have called said that earlier. But um, oh well. Well yeah. It's fine. Again, I'll probably watch more go eventually and you know. I don't be watching continue up because of Tangles and get back to one fine. I'll probably go into detail on that quite well. How much the most frequent ones for Tangles on air on Friday? I don't have that for time. But can I attack off something going well? So. <laughs> I'll probably wait till the finale to talk about that again though. I have no idea what next new theory for an even network is though. So. So. Go. So, but. Maybe if I, I'll probably do a research after looking it up and I'll tell you in the description if it gets string enough. Again, I'll do everything with Gary Gut coming out as all the time. Maybe I'll do a wild card and do coming on some other network. I don't know. I don't know how I'd like to, you know, but there are bad times when you to and then Trick Card will probably end up being okay for I don't think anything bad or it's gonna give it low. Again, I. On. So, but at the same time, like, only the two of them go, maybe they go on to terrible, but go far, because people aren't connected to Ben 10, I feel like people are just not going to care. If they're going to bring in, they probably held off an airing, but because you crush the she doesn't care. Um, <laughs> you know, the fact they air four episodes to two, show where they just want to get getting out of the way, and they don't care about it, you know? <laughs> I mean, now um, after they probably push my magical goal ahead, go and get air it then instead of you know, going air that instead of this and yeah, I see why. But it's fine. It's just that if you curious about it, I feel like it's worth a look, but don't affect that much. It, okay. So the Saturday MLP Vlog return with Electrial Vike and all bottled up, I think. Um, what if I came with titles on here? Let's see. That's one clutch you like. Yeah, it's not going to tell where, but one clutch you like. Yeah, two epicogues, and I don't know if one part one or one part two, or if there are two different epicogues. If I now, LP Vlog will return, and I'll go back to doing Vlog Weekly again. Yeah, well, so I shall see you then.